so do you remember when I promised you that Beetle series? Well, yeah, that's happening now. So today I'm gonna show you the second installment. If you guys haven't seen the first, you can just click right here and watch that now. But in the meantime, I'm going to paint this nail white. And the next thing we're gonna do is take a black. And actually this tutorial is also dedicated to one of my Instagram followers. You requested a 2D look that you saw on a toenail design. I actually don't have a picture of that to show you guys. And even if I did, it's not my image. So I don't think I can share it. But this is a look that you can achieve by either drawing your own outline or using stickers. So basically I'm drawing the outline for my beetle and you don't have to be this exact about it, but this helps me visualize what the end result is gonna be. So all of those margins, even though I'm coloring them in, you will want to refer to them later. So essentially I am putting in solid shapes, but you could actually just leave thick outline. I am because well, actually, I don't know why I am. However, depending on what colors you're using, the black may actually help intensify the color. In case I didn't mention it, I'm actually going for a Egyptian scarab type of motif, which in this case is a super simplified version. I actually found a lot of inspiration, but I decided to simplify some of those designs. However, I'm going to be doing some more, which I'll show you guys later. Now you'll notice that I keep drawing over the same line. What I'm actually doing is pulling excess product from one area and dragging it out, which keeps the lines thin, but also prevents me from having to reload my brush constantly. So next, you're going to pick a color palette. You could skip this step if you wanted to, but I'm gonna add this 3D gel from Daily Charm. This is just gonna make the gel more viscous and it's gonna allow it to really get that 2D effect and stand up off of the nail. You could actually also achieve this by using this Presto Design Powder or acrylic powder, which I'm pretty sure that's all this is. And again, you can skip this step. You just want to layer on maybe three or four layers of just regular gel polish. To actually apply the gel, I'm using a really fine brush or a thicker brush depending on how large of an area I'm working on. And you guys will probably notice that I'm kind of bouncing the gel up and down when I first apply it, which is essentially dropping it off of the brush and making contact with the nail. Then I use a floating technique to move it from side to side. This is very similar to using a builder gel or sculptor as if you were doing a gel extension. So that's the same motion that you wanna use So when you're done, you will have something that looks a little bit something like this. As you guys can see, mine isn't very raised. I only did two coats or two layers. And to finish, you just wanna add your top coat. And I apply this in a bit of a thinner layer because I don't want to fill in the gaps. I'm really pushing on the bristles because I don't want all of the definition to disappear. I want it to still stay two dimensional. So after you cure, you're all done. And this is actually the, I wanna say prequel to the next video that I'm gonna be uploading. Immediately after doing this design, I did a, another version of it. So I'm doing another Egyptian scarab next week. So this is a sneak peek of that look. And if you guys don't wanna miss this tutorial, make sure that you subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.